Well, folks, if you're interested, there is a longevity weld all 160 pi MIG TIG ARC. I'm sorry, uh, ARC TIG and plasma cutter. Sorry, I've had the damn thing for five years and I've never used it or never used it successfully anyway. It's a piece of junk. There's a foot pedal and there's the uh, plasma leads. Pulled it out and uh, try to drag tip on it and a few other things. Five years ago it arrived from longevity straight off the straight out of the UPS truck straight on the freaking floor and it never worked and uh, longevity never made it right well I take that back I ordered a generator a uh, 518 multi unit and a cut 50 plasma and those three arrived DOA took me almost a year and a couple hundred, let's say about two or three hundred bucks and about 30 or 40 hours of my time to get another generator from them which had more trouble than the one I had first one ran about 15 minutes second one ran 30 minutes and uh, it crapped out but we finally got it going again but it never uh, let's see it had it it ran that quit and didn't have 220 uh, didn't didn't produce 220 volts that was a breaker so we swapped a breaker out and waited what two weeks to get to get the part and then uh, let's see uh, yeah it never did charge 12 volts it wouldn't charge its own battery so it was a piece of junk 518 multi unit it didn't work the arcs are the arc, arc welders are just unusable they start off at low 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 voltage and then as soon as you finally get the arc struck, then it friggin' you know, ramps up the voltage. It's almost like, you know, it's on some kind of pulse type deal where it starts off at about 20% and then goes to 100. Can't hardly use a stinking thing. And then I, uh, the, the Cut 50, this is the same torch a Cut 50 uses. It's a good torch, S45 Trivament. Uh, tri uh but it's hooked up to a piece of junk, you know, and uh, that thing, I don't even know if it cut a half an inch. Uh, the Cut 50, same thing, straight out the box, this longevity. And I waited a year, almost a year to get this one, because I sent back the Cut 50 and the 518D, and there was a $100 price difference in his favor, so he was, tried to get me to pay extra for it, but uh, wasn't buying into that, I'd already paid shipping on the to, to, for him to send me more DOA units and I was tired of that crap too so uh, that's what came in the mail for me trading in the other two units and it's piece of shit it didn't work that's five years ago recently contacted him I figured by now he's probably got some of the bugs worked out and thought maybe he would make it right nah machine's out of warranty oh yeah well it wasn't out of warranty whenever you first shipped it here and I pulled it out the box and it didn't work and I spent all my time and money Shipping, paying for shipping for you to ship me more shit that didn't work. But anyway, so for you guys that want to try longevity, yeah, go ahead. And uh, if you're looking for a cheap MIG welder, uh, Harbor Freight, this thing works like a champ. That black uh, 180, uh, MIG 180, it, it, the only drawback it has, it has six foot leads on it. Their item number is uh, 688. Eight six six three eights and a six, but you can for uh, yeah, well, I think I paid two eighty nine for that, forty nine ninety nine warranty for two years, and it actually have a warranty. You know, longevity warranty is theirs for five years, but you don't have a warranty. But uh, that thing really works nicely. <coughs> I used a uh, hundred percent argon, then I switched to uh, seventy five twenty five argon because I had argon bottle for the other one, for the piece of shit longevity. And uh, and you can buy a torch on eBay, a Chicago Electric Replacement Torch from uh, USA Weld, for about 90 bucks. Uh, get you an extra 4 feet, 10 feet. It's pretty easy to swap out. Uh, that's what I would recommend in place of longevity. Of course, I'd replace, I'd recommend just about anything in place of longevity. Uh, the other thing is, 
uh, Harbor Freight also makes a uh, I was hoping I'd see the part number on this one but anyway uh, 240 volt uh, inverter plasma cutter uh, nice uh, item there it is 60767 I mean nice I'm talking very very nice works right out the box got 18 foot leads on it it's got a uh, that same standard torch on it S45 says ergo cut but uh, they're all the same you know and uh, man that thing cuts like I mean cuts like something but uh, it's got a little little bit of a short uh, ground cable on it but I always use an extension with a magnetic uh, magnetic uh, ground anyway don't always but it's pretty freaking handy so pretty handy so I use it and clamp it to my work and and uh, sometimes it's a little bit of a pain to get it you know sitting just right but that's a MIG cart MIG and a plasma cart that I'm building right now uh, bottom shelf is for consumables and <coughs> wire and all that kind of stuff second shelf is for the plasma top shelf is for the uh, MIG welder and uh, back here I got a place for the bottle I rigged up the uh, little half moon there and two piece of angle works freaking great I'm gonna put a swing clamp on there and uh, with a set of uh, with a hinge on it and I'm gonna tie both the grounds together from both the units and then have one lead coming off the cart where the carts grounded then it's gonna run over to uh, my work I just got a 15 foot lead on that that's plenty roll the cart up there and do whatever I want to do and then roll it back anyway just tinkering you know and uh, I built this out of some really light gauge it's less than 1 8 I've forgotten what gauge it was but uh, it had when you pull down on it because it came across here without the square tubing it just ra it just ran across that's angle run across um, and whenever you pull down on the cart the f it flexed the angle right here flexed I just weld a piece of square tubing in there wow stiffen it right up but anyway longevity sucks folks and uh, go ahead and spend about half as much or a third as much actually let's see three four five six let's see I paid I got the Harbor Freight uh, uh, plasma cutter on sale I think I paid like 550 for it and less than 300 for the MIG. Bought warranties on both of them, replacement warranties. So that's 800 bucks, and uh, shit it actually works. And there's their Blue Flame uh, uh, Chicago Electric Welding Helmet. And that's the Northern Industrial Tools there. And I think I paid like 50 bucks for, I think I paid $30 for that and actually on sale. $49.99 or 50 or whatever. Those are good helmets, man. They're, they're uh, and they and the, they both use the same uh, uh, inside and outside lens and all, so it's pretty handy. But anywho, uh, y'all take care. But longevity sucks.